So this is, how many years have you been doing this show at Beaverton High School? This is the third year? It would have been the third, yes. So this is our third year, but first virtual. Right, but third year doing a big fundraiser for Beaverton High School, which yes. is your alma mater. Yeah. <laughs> and normally you do get to come back to Beaverton. You get to go to the school, you get to meet the students, you get to perform on that stage that you used to perform at when you were in high school. And now yeah. it says everything else. You gotta pivot, gotta switch it up. So what's happening this year? Well, this year I actually really was looking forward to coming home and spending like a good week there um, because I think what has morphed over the years and what has more become the focus, not just the fundraising and not just the raising of awareness of, of how important the arts are and how much they're suffering, but more than that, it's become this interaction with the kids. It's become working alongside them, you know, me mentoring them where I can, coaching them where I can, working with them on the material. And, and as such, I thought, well, this year, I'm just going to block off a whole week. I'm going to come home. I'm, I'm going to bring some amazing professional friends and we're going to actually work on the concert. Usually I come in and it's like a fast and furious 48 hours. But what I'm realizing is like, it's the experience of being together and, and collaborating on and teaching them how a show goes up and what goes into it. And, and I thought, you know, as from here forward, as we continue with these annual concerts, I want that to be the focus is this ability to learn from the professionals and work hand, hand in hand, um, side by side for, for the week leading up. So that was the disappointing part for me. And I know for them. So I was like, you know, let's just find a way to still make it happen. It's obviously not going to be the same, but in some ways I think it's going to be cooler. And what one of those ways was like, you know, I didn't abandon the idea of working with them. So I did one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions with all of my soloists, um, you know, spent like an hour and or more with, with each of them and just talked to them about the material and, and help them dial in more personal connections to it, fine tune some vocal challenges. And um, so that's really cool. We wouldn't have had that kind of one-on-one -on -one time. Um, and, and the other cool part is like, there's going to be way more eyeballs on this than would have been uh, just in the 500, 600 seat house. So that's cool for, for them. And, and also just for our ability to, it's not just um, the raising of funds for Beaverton. It's, it's also like, I think that putting out this virtual content during this time is a give back as well. Like for people at home, I think it's such a gift. And when they see, I, I, I am editing this all together. When they see, um, it's just a, it's a beautiful, barely an hour barely an hour but it's just a beautiful combination of, of people and material and it's it's going to be really really special and it's going up on your youtube channel yeah that's awesome i know when you talk about getting more eyes on it it makes total sense i mean obviously you're a lover of live theater like right in front of the audience that's what everyone yeah. knows you for but you can get it in front of more people when it's on the YouTube channel of the amazing Shoshana Bean, and then everyone will it live there <laughs> afterwards too? Forever. And so is it live, or you said you're editing it? So it's all. It's a, it's essentially a virtual concert. Everything is being pre-recorded, and then everything is being edited edited, to, edited together like a virtual concert, and then it will live stream in real time on on Monday. Cool. And are you actually yeah. editing it? What? Yeah, I have a little bit of help with the bigger numbers, but yeah, I just, I, you know, I just, I have a vision for it. And so I, I just, I'm just doing it all myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know how you want it to look and. Yep. Yeah. And I guess you have time to do it, but it seems like you've been really busy I mean, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Necessity is the mother of invention. You know what I mean? I want it to be great. I want it to be special. I've watched enough of these and participated in enough of these to know like what works, what doesn't work. Um, and for me, I want it to be as equally pleasing to the ears as it is to the eyes, as it is to the heart. I want every, I want it to play to all of the senses. And, and, and I feel like it, it's, since that's my vision, I feel like, you know, this is my downfall. I'm, I'm really bad at, at delegating. <laughs> you know, I'm just looking at it as like a fun project. I try really hard not to take things on unless it's going to, if, unless I'm going to be like, this is an adventure. So yeah, everyone recorded at home, uh, uploaded the files to the Dropbox. You know, it's like, it's a, it's a whole system where like, 
you know, they basically record acapella. They have the track being pumped through their ear and then they just sing acapella into their phone. So the cool thing about that is, um, you know, they get multiple tries at it. I'm like, you guys take after take until you get the take you want. Or some of them would send me a take and I'm like, no, you can do better than this. Is this the, are you, I think you can do better. How do you feel about this take? Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, so the cool thing is, is we get multiple opportunities to be our best and we learn something about ourselves every time we record and watch it back. I am with them. I'm having the same experience of like, huh, interesting, Shoshana. Maybe we can fine tune that a bit. And, and the other thing is like, you know, we miss the magic of, like you said, the live performance and the give and the take with the audience. But um, there's something a little bit magical too about these kids being alone in a room recording it where that fear of judgment and that fear of who's watching is eliminated. There's a mystery to that. So they're able to be a little more fearless than they might be on stage. So, um, you know, there's, there's some real positives to this as well. Well, and how cool for the kids that they now will have essentially a reel of, of them performing <laughs> instead of performing on stage, which is amazing. And you get that feeling right there and then it's gone this as they're applying to colleges or just doing you know starting their own youtube channels or whatever they have this reel of of their best stuff because you're making sure it's their best take well that's what i said to them i'm like this isn't going anywhere like you give me this take it goes into the movie the concert <laughs> and it lives on youtube forever so you decide how you what you want if you want to look back on this and be like that's where I was at, but man, I was brave or man, I tried something new or like I was way out of my comfort zone, but I'm proud of what I did. And, um, you know, also like more than anything, if this is what we're doing now and this is, I don't know how long this is what it's going to be, you know, the live performance aspect obviously is, is a magical skill and important for them, but this is important too, to figure out how to communicate powerfully, um, to a camera as well, you know? That's a whole other skill. So I, I'm just, I'm really just trying to focus only on the positives and what there is to learn and what there is to get. So how does the fundraising aspect work this year? Because normally, obviously, people buy their tickets, they come to the show. How does that work this time? Um, we have a GoFundMe account that they have been, people have been donating to already once we started the fundraising for this year's concert. Because you've raised is it over $50,000? in two years of over the events? past two years yeah it doesn't seem like a lot but when you think about like you know how badly they're hurting it's 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 helpful um what does it mean to me uh you know i i'm such a person who just always is like but there's more to do like what more can we do it's hard for me to stop and be like 50k that's not bad and i know what the money has gone towards and i know how grateful the teachers are um especially you know the kids they shouldn't have to know. They shouldn't have to know how hard it is and what we're doing behind the scenes. My goal is that they don't have to think about this stuff, that they can just show up to school and have those things that should be a right. They shouldn't be a privilege. It shouldn't be, thank you, Shoshana. Thank you, teachers. Thank you to all the donors. It shouldn't be that. It should just be a given. The way that the football players show up and their field is groomed and their uniforms are you know, clean and brand new and their pads are like, it should just be the same thing. I think these poor kids have so many other things to worry about. It's hard enough being a kid and even harder to be a kid these days. So I, I just, you know, it just, if they can just be around professionals, learn how to put on a show the same way I learned how to put on a show, be called to be their best and be able to show up to school and still have that safe space still have that community and that connection and still have a place to express themselves. That's all I care about. I don't want them to know how it happens. I just want them to, to have it. What I hope they take away is some, when I, when I coach with them one-on-one -on -one and I talk to them and I work with them, they're just so afraid, which is right where they should be at this stage of the game. They're just so afraid of who they are and, and being individuals and, and speaking a painful truth and so I just hope that this has made them just that much braver, just that much more comfortable in their own skin, that much more confident um, to believe in themselves that much more. That's what I hope they take away. You don't want to give away too many things, obviously, but any hints as to what, what kind of songs we get to hear or what kind of music will be in the show? I, I think I've done a good job of, of choosing some like classics that everyone knows and loves. 
But I really, you know, their kids and this is their generation of musical theater is different than, you know, the very classic um, era. So it's a lot of, of, of contemporary musical theater. So that's more pop, you know, um, stuff from Dear Evan Hansen and Waitress and, and, um, and Wicked. So there's more, there's more poppy musical theater happening in this. There are, there are a couple um, classic things in there but it's largely a it's largely a pop show yeah what are you hoping everyone that gets to see this takes away from this um I mean I really ultimately just hope people uh you know always when I'm making anything and presenting it to the world offering it up to the world it's always um with the intention of of it healing them revealing something to them cracking them open uh, releasing something um it's it's uh it's supposed to be a gift for people so if that's an hour of distraction if that's an hour of joy if that's an hour of tears if that's an hour of inspiration um uh, that's what i hope people get from it and i hope that they that they are inspired to support the arts whether that's this particular fundraiser or whether that's their local community small venues trying to keep them alive theater groups you know supporting independent artists as they try to navigate this time without live work you know um yeah because that's really the focus of this concert anyway and this virtual event and all the people that have come together to make this happen is is what i know about my artistic community is that we show up for each other we are a community and that is from the broadway community to the outreach to the to the um regional communities to educational communities like it's we are connected through our art and and so it's really just a extending a hand through the screen and just being like we're we're in this together we're a community so Here's some beautiful music. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Take care of yourself. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Good to see you, baby. You're wonderful. Bye. Bye. <laughs>